Hello you guys, it is AK47 Masking here. I'm back with another episode of Sonic Adventure 2. In this episode we got a rival battle against Rouge the Bat. Did you find my That's a good one. Your emerald. Talking to you is a waste of time. Alright, let's get into it. So starting off here, I personally think this is one of the most annoying rival battles ever in this game because it's kind of random in a way and there's multiple levels as you would expect being that this is a treasure hunters battle and a cool little gimmick here is that uh, in different parts of the battle lava will be released from that little container there so that kind of forces you to go up to the to the upper levels. I'm not sure where she is. But this is one of the annoying parts of this battle. Is you kind of start searching for Rouge and she starts flying away from you. I don't know. If you're able to get over her and drill claw like this, that's like a, a guaranteed way to get her. Well, that time it didn't work, but other times, most of the time, it will work in your favor. So that's something cool to look out for. And there's plenty of rings scattered, but make sure you leave at least a couple for yourself in case she actually gets the drop on you. Like right here, I believe I've got her. Nope. Nope, she got me. But yeah, this is a really, really tedious battle in my opinion. At least with uh, Shadow, there's kind of like a sense of strategy. And also, with at least with Eggman battles, they're kind of easy in a sense, I'd say. And that's, that's it. Alright, there we go. This, these are just random, to be honest with you. You only have to do it once. I don't know why I'm saying these, but yeah. That's pretty much about it. Stop fooling around and give me back my emerald. What are you babbling about? You call yourself a hunter attacking a lady? Shame on you. What kind of lady goes around stealing gems anyway? Say thanks to someone who just saved your life? Saving my life? Don't think I owe you one. You were trying to hold my hand, didn't you? That's why you saved me. Here's a big tree. This isn't a joke, you know. Think what you want, that girl. I was saving the Master Emerald. <sighs> no matter what you say. All right, hey you guys. If you're looking at the screen right now, it says please close the disc cover. This is because uh, I had a heavy SAT practice guide book right next to my Wii when I was recording at the time. I've taken it off ever since then. And the thing is, for some reason, on this day when I'm recording, at that moment, during that cutscene, I decided to topple over, and my Wii got toppled over, and somehow, some way, the eject button got pushed, and the disc came out, so I didn't it took me a while to realize it, but then I got up and actually pushed it back in, and uh, I did recapture that cutscene, because thankfully, Sonic Adventure 2 does replay the cutscenes if this happens, for whatever reason, your rough housing with your Wii, or GameCube, or whatever reason, it gets unplugged, and, or not unplugged, it, the, the, the disc comes out, for whatever reason, it will continue it from the beginning, however, Guess what? More bad luck. My audio splitter got disconnected from the left side. So for the left ear, when I recaptured the cutscene, I didn't realize this at the time. It actually only captured it through the right. So it was a mono, you know, audio, basically. So that that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, the rest of this episode is going to be done through post-commentary. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm going to hand this off, this first audio log, then I'm going to start up the next one where we start off Stage 15, Crazy Gadget. Hey you guys, AK47 Master here, back with ep uh, this episode of Sonic Adventure 2, sorry. <laughs> I had to make three different sets of commentary audio. The main reason being is because uh, SAT build fell on my Wii, audio clip got messed up, as well as a uh, visual uh, screen, or cutscene which was like the final finale of the little tree branch of Rouge and Knuckles' little part of the story, their little contribution 
you know, the, the Master Emma got reconstructed, and they both left each other, they both smirk at each other, they both seem like they wanted to have some si some sort of meeting some uh, late at night at some point, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Rue seems like that type of girl, Knuckles seems like that type of echidna, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, nonetheless, back to seriousness, we are playing as Sonic now, through Crazy Gadget, and boy, this thing... This, this level was a pain to do, even when I wasn't live commentating it, even when I was just, uh, you know, I was, I was just friggin' playing through it, trying to focus, when I was trying to, when I was focusing, in all honesty, and I still had trouble, believe it or not, and I'm actually gonna cut this off and come right back, cause I forgot to edit this, because I actually died a couple of times, I wanna take that all out so you guys just see the main points, so this episode's probably gonna be a bit shorter than the typical episode, but trust me, we do get plenty of stuff done. I mean, we're almost done with the hero story, and we're only at, like, 11 or 10 parts, so, yeah. Okay, guys, I will see you guys back in a minute after I edit this video. You're not going to really notice it, to be honest with you, because it's actually for the for a future part of this stage. We're not there yet, so see you guys in just a minute. All right, I am back, guys, and I just finished editing up the whole video, and I can tell you right now it's going to be 11 minutes and 39 seconds, which you can probably see on the YouTube time on my video I was gonna say time limit but there is no time limit to use it anymore which is awesome because if that was the case I wouldn't be able to make this video right now and many people who make like hour-long videos of Minecraft or whatever won't be able to do that or there won't be a such thing as long plays I guess if YouTube still had their time limit and I'm just completely BSing stuff with you guys just trying to elaborate because I do got four and a half more minutes to actually talk about this here, and I, whoa, I didn't actually edit this out, I'm surprised. I thought I would've, well, it's not that big of a deal, whatever, only like 10 seconds of, like, a wasted life, I guess? Well, that sounds, that sounds great, wasted life, a, la a wasted life, I mean, a wasted life would basically be someone, I'd hate to say it, someone like me, but I actually do kind of make some use out of my life, you know, I go bike riding, I play guitar, yeah, I do a lot of other stuff besides sitting on my ass and playing video games and making YouTube videos. But that is, uh, that is a part of my life that I think I'll never forget, hopefully. Unless I do something that is gaming related that is greater than this, I guess. And I believe... Yep, this is the part where I show you guys you could actually get the flame ring, which I got already, of course, since this was a failed recording or a second take of a failed recording. And I show you guys you can use it to break those metal boxes. You get the idea. But I'm guessing most of you guys who are watching this probably already played through this game and probably already knew that. But just in case someone actually watches this for a walkthrough value or for walkthrough purposes for whatever reason. I don't know why because there's plenty of other uh, walkthroughs of this game that are probably much better than mine. But hey, that's just, that's just me. That's just what I think. And we're about halfway through here. Yes, believe it or not, this thing, this level is about six five minutes long, four and a half if you can speed run it, and I always love that part where you uh, just light speed dash through that whole set of rings. I believe most of the time I do get a one up, but apparently I didn't. I only got 81 rings as you see right there, and I had a mishap right there. Kind of sucks, because every time you get hit in a 3D Mario game, I, I, I'm sorry, a 3D Sonic game, uh, you, no matter how many rings you have, you will always drop a limit of 20. They'll never actually drop all the rings on the floor, so even if you recollect all of them that are on the floor that you lost, that will only amount to 20. I know it sucks. Of course, if you have less than, less than 20, then, you know, whatever amount you had, like 15 or 16, is what's gonna fall on the floor. But I, I think that's kind of sucks. Uh, yeah. It, it's, it makes that challenge for people who want to collect rings. Uh, if they aren't good at the game, I guess. That's the only way I'd be imagine it actually being a challenge. Honestly, and there, that's where I made the cut right there, because of course I died here. And I don't know why, but for some reason when I played the when I played the XP, Xbox Live arcade version of this game, there's like a certain shortcut that I could use that I always use in that version and it never fails. Like I'm able to do it every time, but every time I play on the GameCube version I have to take the normal route that Zega or Sonic Team expects you to take. Whereas like the like the shortcut would be right here. I stop over there and I go over to that thing, that uh, that gravitational shift. But the normal way they expect you to do it is what I am doing right here 
it's much longer, much more tedious, and pretty unnecessary, especially if you're going for time. So, I don't know. And here, this is what you have to do. But usually what I would be able to do is just go over there and change it while the gravitational shift is to the left, I believe. Or to the right, I mean. And you're actually able to do it. Like, Sonic actually will, you know, press the switch down if you manage to get him on there. But for some reason, when I play the GameCube version, I just have trouble doing that. Maybe it's because I have trouble controlling or using the GameCube controller in general. I prefer the Classic controller. I know most people don't. I, mo I know most people prefer the GameCube over the Classic, but I'm the other way around for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's because of the dual analog sticks, but I'm not a PlayStation gamer, which is odd. Because maybe if that was the case, I could understand, but no, that's not the case at all. I just, I'm not used to it. It's been years since I've actually used it. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know if you guys saw that there, but that was a Lightspeed Dash ring set right there. I didn't see it at first, so I don't blame you if you couldn't see it either. But we're pretty much getting up to the end of this level. Hope you guys can uh, at least forgive me for all the screw-ups I had for this episode, because there were quite a few, I will admit. And this guy is just like going crazy, bonkers, cyclops, like laser shooting. <laughs> He's just angry or something, I don't know. And that's pretty much about it, and you could already guess what grade I got on this level. It took me, what, five, six minutes to do? Just take a guess. Take a wild guess of what type of grade I got. <laughs> yep, there you go. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode.